Hello and welcome! I am Enigmius, and this is Borderlands 2 Just For Fun, episode 5 or 4. You'll see it in the numbers when the game comes up. We're in a rush. We gotta go. I'm gonna explain why on the way. Uh, I did a bad. I did a bad. I actually, I recorded with commentary all of what you are about to see from here all the way up to uh, Captain Flint. We kicked his butt. It was not easy, but we kicked his butt. And, uh, and then I had it on my hard drive, waiting for the moment to unleash it upon you all, and I accidentally killed the commentary. I deleted the commentary file from my computer, and I could not recover it. So, uh, I'm gonna do it all again. I've already done it, though, and that's the problem. Uh, so I don't want to take two episodes to, uh to do it because it, it can be fairly lengthy if I'm kind of taking my time and pretending like I've never been here and scoping stuff out. So really in terms of loot, all I'm going to be doing is trying to stay topped up with ammunition because nothing slows us down like not having ammunition and that's it. Like there's no loot that I want, there are no guns, it doesn't matter. If it's like purple or orange, I will pick it up. But otherwise I don't care. We, uh, we're going to get through this, we're going to get to Sanctuary and we're going to do it in this episode. And we're going to try and do it in 25 minutes or less. Oh, stop that. There goes three bullets that I will never get back. That does not help a speedrun at all. Ever. The uh, barrel destruction tends to uh, speed things up a little bit. People kind of lie around dying while I'm shooting other guys. Which is pretty helpful. Awesome. Now, I've actually been enjoying the hell out of farming this area for some strange reason. Um, I'm actually level 10 now because I've been farming it. I've got $13,000 when I originally had $5,000 the first time I killed Captain Flint. If that kind of gives you an idea. Now the one thing that I'm going to have to be a little bit creative with is when I go through the second time You jerks, you're taking your time coming out When you go through an area the second time you can fight all of the bosses again, that's not a problem But what you can't do is see their little introductory sort of brief cinematic thing The stylized, this is their name and this is gonna hurt or whatever so I'm actually gonna use the footage that I had from my first run through because that's the video is still all intact and I'm gonna edit those in as we get to the bosses uh, just so you guys don't miss out and I think that's sort of a fair compromise under the circumstances I can hear him hollering and I can see his dot on the minimap and uh, I don't I don't feel like waiting all day for him to no. hey. ammunition not for me oh there he is jumping down See, if I had been a little bit more patient and let those guys sort of come out on their own schedule, that overall probably would have gone much faster. Now, I don't normally put a lot of emphasis on speed. You guys may enjoy it more this way. But it is just because I want to get I want to get through this and get uh, get past Captain Flint. Claptrap has been waiting on the other side of Captain Flint for the longest time. This is Boom Boom. He is, uh, he's got a pretty wicked cannon, I'm not gonna lie, I would, uh, I would, I would pay money for one of those cannons, because it looks like that much fun. Now there's actually an achievement, or a challenge, as they're called in this game, oh I already got them, to, uh, basically finish the fight without taking a direct hit from that cannon. But I've already got it, so I'm taking uh, I'm taking some chances in the name of expeditious killing here. I love this little pistol. It's a fast reload. It's got the little fins on it that kind of uh, flip and flop around. There's someone hiding. Oh, there he is. 
I love that you can get a critical by shooting him in the jetpack. Give me my hit points back. Yeah, it ain't gonna happen, buddy. Oh, there we go. He's down. Now we mop up his uh, little bastard friends. Come me. I mean. That's always fun, too. No, Mari! The, uh. Zero special ability, he kind of sends out the decoy and the bad guys attack that. And then you can sort of spin around in behind and uh, you get a bonus to damage. And it's on a really short cooldown compared to um, the commando turret thing, which is what I was familiar with, similar to in uh, Borderlands 1, so this is kind of cool. Uh, money. Again, just here for the ammunition. Last time I tried this, the bandits actually decided to, uh, oh, there they, they go, the bandits are fighting the birds. So then I just kind of sit back and try to help where I can, without letting the bandits know that I'm here. Ow. Because, holy cow, that guy just latched on and started clawing the crap out of me. If, uh, if you don't get rid of the birds when you start moving a little bit towards the, uh, shanty town, that's when they start attacking you specifically, so... think very very quickly I got a new assault rifle and I don't know if it's gonna be any good but we're gonna find out holy crap what the hell is that monstrosity that's a uh, pretty crazy scope and that's for the uh, methamphetamine addicts <laughs> that's really really distracting all right screw this the bird wants a piece of me, he can come get it. Everything is conspiring against me. Oh, he's on the other side of the iceberg here. Oh yeah, that works. That's a lot better than my last one. My last one shot explosive rounds. Which, like, all of the elemental rounds right now move really, really slow. Alright, we're gonna go snipery on the entrance to the shanty town. Clear out these buggers. This guy. Again, not, not the way I like to start these. Oh, that was a good one. That <laughs> He's burning right beside the water. How embarrassing. I think he just said that I'm going to be his new hat. Damn it. Try that again. There we go. That worked very, very well. Deal with the midget by. You're a different midget. Wait for me! Shotgun. I'm having really awful luck getting a decent shotgun as well. I don't. I, I kind of like having a shotgun around for the birds because it's one of the easiest weapons to use to deal with them as quickly as possible. But again, everything that I get is the uh, elemental rounds. And they just move too darn slow. He's mad at me. Now he's mad at me. I just shot him like eight times and he's finally pissed off. There's a guy up here. Get rid of him. And, oh, look at these guys. And jerk faces around the corner. 
Ooh, that... I, the, I ran out of ammunition just as he died, but that was a pretty aggressive splatter that he made. A little bit, uh, a little bit of recoil. So if, if there's recoil like that and it's consistent like it's straight up, I like to try and see if I can't make it lead me into a headshot to finish them, but it's... That's sort of the game that I play when I know I'm not going to be killed by anyone else, is just take my time and see if I can't get the recoil to help me. It doesn't happen too often, though. I'm not pro. I don't think so. Ooh. That's one resilient little midget in this guy. Just needs more bullets. That'll solve all his problems. He's, oh, that guy's not feeling too good. That guy just threw a grenade over my shoulder. I bet he's wishing he had that one over again. I enjoyed that. Oh, this guy. He's camouflaged in plain sight. Holy crap. You ain't getting out of there. What the hell just dropped my shields like that? That's crazy. That guy must be some kind of ninja. We're going to open this just because we like the sound. There we go. Money. Uh, sometimes these have ammunition and cash, so we'll just take a quick look. Still hauling ass. Still doing everything that we can to get Captain Flint dead in 25 minutes or less. I've actually moved it down to 25 minutes or less, I think. I may have said 30 minutes earlier. One way or the other, it's going to happen fast. Oh, the psycho doesn't know I'm here yet. Adorable. Yes! Start off by blowing guys up, shooting them in the head. He's hobbling pretty good. He's, yeah, he's fine. This guy... I will say this about the badass bandits. So far, that helmet of theirs makes a really attractive target. Yeah, one more. Grenade behind us. Uh, we haven't been picking up anything to sell, so we don't have to worry about our inventory. That's all guns. Anything? Oh, that's a shield. That's not very good. And shotgun shells. Maybe two guys up here. I want to see. Can I, get a, can I get a good no, That's too far. Shotgun Rhinoplasty. Wow, this guy's fast. The hell are you on? The true world revealed. Weakness is now known to me. Time to go to work. Uh, up on the bridge. Oh, right in the ass. That's right, if you had to just stood up, I could have made it quicker and easier. I like these shanty towns. They kind of look chaotic and such, but all the different angles and all the different things sticking out make them look really, really interesting from an FPS point of view, I feel. Listening to me doing a review as I'm playing. This is something that I was noticing compared to some other games where it's maybe a little bit more uh, organized. Oh, I uh, stirred up the hornet's nest again. That's what I do. Uh, I hear axes from a psycho and they're coming from here. And then they just like, oh, okay. He hasn't shot back at us, so maybe he's not a person. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Wow, he did quite the flip there. I mean, if you're going to go, if it's your time, you've just taken a bullet to the head, you might as well do it with some flair and do like a forward flip somersault that. thing off a little ledge. Um, because then you're going to be remembered as the guy who just took a bullet to his head and could still do a forward flip somersault off of a little ledge, which is, you know, barring anything else, it's not so bad. Now, you can see a red diamond on the minimap to the left of my arrow. That is actually... Captain Flint, and he will be shooting at us from this point onwards anytime we get in his line of sight, which actually makes things a little more interesting. 
because there are a lot of barrels and things that uh, he can detonate when we're standing next to them. So it kind of, even though it's not the same as playing through the first time and killing them, we still get uh, something interesting out of the deal. Uh, that was a bad turn. Something like that. I don't know how many guys I hit back there, but that was a lot of yellow numbers flying up. I don't think I can shoot through that. So we'll go over here. Ow. Actually, that wasn't ow. That barely scratched my shields. And this guy is just standing up long enough to throw another damn grenade. So one of the ways that I found to deal with Flint shooting down at me and detonating barrels and other flammable explosive containers is to just shoot them before he does. Like you can see, actually we'll look up there now. Yeah, you can see him. Right there. And apparently if you could land a shot on him from down here, uh, it will actually prompt him to leave his normal area and come down. That's what I read. I, uh, I don't know for sure. I don't want to get hit by that exploding on my way by. Excellent sniper rifle bullets. Uh, actually, on my way through here once, I got stuck behind that toilet because I was being a dork. And I figured it would be funny if I could shoot at them from the bathroom. And uh, yeah, I got stuck behind the toilet and I had to quit out of the game so that it moved my character back to a waypoint. Okay. That was a good deal. We're actually uh, not that far from Flint now. Oh, I see that grenade. You know what? I got those too. And mine are uh, just like that. He's uh, bleeding profusely from the face area. So is he. Another quick look for. I don't even mind, like, not having assault rifle ammunition or revolver ammunition. It's this sniper rifle that I get a little bit tense when I start running out. And, uh, I've got five, five rounds left in the sniper rifle, so, uh... There's nothing up there, and there's exploding barrels that I'm too close to to detonate on my own. So this could be crazy, because this is a little bit of long-range shenanigans going on here. One grenade! That might have been more effective than I thought. Oh. It just threw... Okay, the grenade landed down there and detonated that barrel, and he's still just kind of sitting there like, oh, oh, nothing going on. Alright. There was an exploding barrel back there. I will take it. Just kind of hanging out back there. He was pretty close to death, apparently. He didn't want to admit it, but he was hanging on to dear life. Barrel. That looks pretty far. This is, uh... Oh, glorious, glorious time-saving grenades. Did he sur Holy crap, he survived that. I don't know if you can hear the bandits very clearly, but right after I killed that guy, one of the bandits yells, I get his bunk now. I mean, say what you will about the bandits. Sometimes they have their moments. I enjoyed that. Excellent. And again. Ah, for the noise. All about the noise, and now I'm stuck on the door. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? I can't move. Okay. Ooh. 
I was gonna say, if I'm stuck on this again, I'm gonna be so mad. So mad. It won't even be funny. I could use a, a bit of a health boost. There's another stop just up the hill here. that has got a bunch of chests and stuff that maybe will have some health. Here's one. No, that's a white pistol that we don't want. Yeah. Four containers here. I'm, I'm looking to see health. That's all I want to see. You know what? I've kind of developed a tactic because I... I I didn't have a very good experience my first time through with this fight, um, and I don't know why, because uh, every time I've been back since, it's been so much easier. It's not even learning Kirby easier. It's like night and day, um, the number of things trying to kill me easier. lot of exploding things there's gonna be a lot of fire now right now captain flint is up on his little tower of stupidness and the way i see it if he's allowed to stand up there and be her 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 you can't reach me i'm allowed to stand up here and be exactly the same way now, i just want to clear enough of his guys they won't move too far to reach me but now we want to uh upset him a little bit oh we got a crit on him so that was one of the issues that I had my first time through, is that not only was I not able to get any crits on him, which is normal, it's, it's difficult to get a critical hit on him the way that he's set up, but most of my shots were doing no damage at all. So if you kind of look at it from the point of view, you've got this going on blocking your view. I had at all times two bandit psychos chasing me around and harassing me. Plus this guy lobbing grenades and he actually jumps. He will jump at you from a very long range away with his fat ass. And not only is, you know, that going to hurt, but then he's like right in your face doing all kinds of crazy damage. Like this. See that crap? Oh, I got another one on him. He's, uh, he's about done. That's right, Flint. This is the last time for a good long time that I'm going to kill your ass. Uh, and he gets this when he's on fire like that he gets a really uh he basically takes about a quarter of the damage he normally would so it's just a lot of things that kind of came together and wound up being a, a pretty unpleasant experience and then i came back and even not standing up here it was just a completely different fight so maybe it was me maybe it was a bug who knows i don't Flint is dead. All we really have to do now is uh, clean up his pals. Now this is pretty much, he's dropped this every time I've killed him, which has been a few. I'm not gonna lie. And uh, this is the second one that I currently have in my inventory. I'll show you the other one in a moment. The one that I've got is actually better than that one. And uh, I'm not the least, the least bit embarrassed about my tactic. Um, given the number of times that I've killed him. Yes, we're almost there. We're almost there. Claptrap. We're almost there. I haven't heard Claptrap in ages. That's also been kind of a nice little break. I, uh, I do kind of feel now like this would be, um, much faster with sniper rifle bullets. <laughs> but what can I say? It, it helps to be versed in other options. I'm uh, empty. Oh, like... Because stuff like that happens. Uh, what else have I got? I've got, I've got my revolver, and we're gonna. That's out. That's not. I love the way the little animation and the sound it makes when you reload this thing. There we go. 
You're shooting the wrong way there, guy. Oh, crap. We're clear. We're clear. We're clear, Claptrap. We're all done forever. We'll never have to come back here again. Uh, this time I am going to take a look at the, the weapon the weapon chest. I'm always on the hunt for... Look at that. Consumes three ammunition per shot. Just kind of... But it's worth 490 bucks. Okay, so we will take that one. And we're going to stock up a bit on some of these guys. That's it. Claptrap. Claptrap, my there friend. There she is! Me mighty vessel! Lower her into the water, you salty dog! Eh... Uh... I'm assuming there's a lever around here somewhere. Uh, or maybe you'll just let me on the boat and we can do it from there. Oh, it's a waypoint thing. Rewards, story mission. Increase the average literacy by the entire of the entire area by a factor of 10. Now nothing stands between you and a frigid 15 hour boat ride with Claptrap. Grats. And now to set sail for sanctuary! Toot toot! Let us set sail! Setting sail, Claptrap. You know I didn't lower us into the water yet, right? I just... <laughs> I can see him at the wheel wondering why we're not going anywhere. Because we're, we're still way up in the air. Oh, there we go. So that's it! Captain Flint, we are finally... Finally, that much closer to Sanctuary. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun making it. So leave your comments about the speedrun format below. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys.